Thomas and Friends, The Fearsome Footprints, as seen on DVD, Tale of the Brave, the movie, two books in one. It was a busy day on the island of Sodor. Thomas was helping at the clay pits, working with Bill and Ben. A friendly engine named Timothy warned them that rain might be coming. And if it starts to rain, these clay walls will get really unstable. We'd best be careful today. That afternoon, it did rain. The clay wall next to Thomas began to drip and ooze. To his surprise, he saw strange marks under the sliding mud. They looked like giant footprints. But what kind of animal has feet that big? Thomas wondered. Before Thomas could get a good look at the footprints, he had to hurry out of the way of a huge landslide. Thomas couldn't stop thinking about the giant footprints. The next day, he rolled to the clay pits, but he couldn't see the footprints. The tracks were closed and covered with mud. Later, at Brendam Docks, Thomas told Percy about the footprints. They were bigger than any animal on Sodor could make, he said. Do you mean they are from a monster? Percy wished. There's no such thing as monsters, Percy, Thomas told him. Percy couldn't stop thinking about monsters. He didn't want to see anything scary, but later he did see a strange shape on the tracks. What's that? Percy puffed. I, I hope it's not a monster. He raced to the docks. It's the monster from the clay pits, he whistled. It wasn't a monster. It was an engine named Gator. Some folks think my longer water tanks make me look like an alligator, Gator explained. Percy felt very silly for thinking the new engine was a monster. Everywhere Percy went that night, he thought he saw strange creatures. Old trees and haystacks became monsters. Fluttering laundry on a clothesline looked like ghosts. Percy was so scared, he didn't even deliver the mail. Thomas offered to do it for Percy that night. James knew Percy had been afraid. Hello, scaredy engine, he puffed. Seen any monsters lately? Thomas saw giant footprints at the clay pits. Percy peeped. There might be monsters on Sodor. James just rolled off to the scrapyard. He was thinking about monsters when he turned into the scrapyard and came face to face with jagged teeth and crooked claws. No! James peeped. Help! Hello, mate, puffed Reg, the scrap crane. Looks like that scrap heat gave you a fright. I'm not afraid of some old junk, James said. Down at the docks, Percy saw Gator. What are you doing here? Percy asked. I'm off to a new job across the ocean, Gator puffed. My ship has been delayed, so I'm waiting for a new one. Wow, Percy peeped. I wish I were as brave as you. You might be braver than you think, Percy, said Gator. Inspired by Gator's words, Percy decided to be brave and pull the mail trucks by himself that night. His boiler bubbled boldly as he chugged across the countryside. Nothing scared him, not the fluttering laundry, not the gnarled old trees, 
Gator is right, he tooted. I can be brave. The next night, as Percy was delivering the mail, he saw something strange on the tracks. It groaned and flashed its big teeth in the moonlight. Percy didn't want to be brave anymore. He left his mail trucks and raced back to the sheds as fast as he could go. The monster! Percy whistled as he rolled to the sheds. I really saw it! None of the other engines believed him. Percy looked at Thomas. There really are monsters on Sodor. Tell them about the footprints you saw, Thomas. I don't know what I saw, Thomas peeped, but I don't think it was a monster. The next morning, Thomas saw James with a truck full of scrap where Percy had seen the monster. James, Thomas peeped, you made a monster out of scrap metal to scare Percy. It was just a joke, James replied. Not to Percy. You need to tell him what you did and apologize. The two engines split up to search for Percy. Thomas chugged all around Sodor, looking for Percy. Suddenly, a terrible thought flew into his funnel. Oh no, Thomas peeped. I know where Percy is going. To see if Thomas is right, turn the book over and upside down and start reading. Thomas the Brave. The day passed quickly as Thomas and James searched for Percy. Night was falling as Percy rolled through the clay pits. He stopped when he reached the warning signs. If I can find the footprints that Thomas saw, it will prove the monster is real, he thought. Then everyone will know how brave I am. At that very moment, James rolled up. He started to apologize, but Percy interrupted him. I'm braver than you'll ever be, Percy puffed. James didn't like Percy's attitude. If you are so brave, why have you stopped at the danger signs? Being brave doesn't mean not being careful, Percy peeped. That's what a scaredy engine would say. James puffed as he pushed past Percy and the signs. He rolled into the narrow gorge. The cliff walls were still drippy and loose from the landslide. Oh, monster, James called. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Suddenly, James saw something in the moonlight. It had claws and teeth. The monster, James wished. He tried to back up but the walls of the gorge began to rumble and tumble. It's another landslide, Percy peeped. You have to go forward, James. The little green engine raced ahead to push James out of the way. Rocks hit Percy and mud slid into his cab and the big monster landed right in front of him. That was when Percy made a discovery. It wasn't a monster at all, but some sort of strange rock. The next day, Percy went to the steamworks for a good cleaning. He had lots of mud in his funnel and gears. While he was there, James and Thomas visited him. I hope we're still friends, Thomas peeped. Of course we are, Percy replied. We all are. The three engines wished and whistled happily. That afternoon, Thomas took some scientists to the clay pits. They were amazed by what Percy had found in the mud. It's a dinosaur fossil. 
One scientist explained, fossils are what we call bones that have been in the ground for millions of years. So the monster was really a dinosaur from a long, long time ago. Thomas peeped in amazement. He couldn't wait to tell Percy. Soon, the dinosaur fossil was put on display in the Knapford Town Square. Excited families and curious engines came from all over the island of Sodor to see it. A perfect specimen of a megalosaurus, exclaimed the Earl of Sodor. How marvelous! Sir Topham Hatt addressed the crowd. Today was made possible by a very special engine. Percy is not only a really useful fossil hunter, but also one of the bravest engines on Sodor. The people clapped and cheered, and the engines blew their whistles, but Percy was nowhere to be seen. Percy was at Brendam Docks saying goodbye to Gator. Gator's ship departed at last. As it steamed away, Thomas and James rolled up. I guess you have to be brave to say goodbye to someone too, Percy peeped. Did Gator say that? Thomas asked. No, but he did say something else wise, Percy puffed, and his friends rolled closer to hear. I'll tell you later, Percy said. Right now, let's give Gator a real Sodor farewell. The engines peeped and whistled as loudly as they could. They would all miss their friend, Gator. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe. See you later, alligator.